Hi everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, we're just having a bit of a laugh. Uh, look and seriousness, we didn't expect now from today, and as you know, this is the last sale, last word, whatever you want to call it now. Um, but let's crack on with it. The lineup for you, I'll begin with you. The one thing obviously ruled out was uh, Sean yesterday, long stuff. Yeah. Are you happy with Shelby coming here, or would you prefer Key? Uh, neither to be fair, but obviously, I probably would have preferred Matty, if I'm honest. Really, why? Only because, like, from what I've seen of him, I'm impressed, like, he's more of a worker. And I think in that position, we need someone who's just going to grind stuff out. Like, not, don't do too, anything too fancy because basically Hayden was left in it by himself. Because Shelby was just, like, running around, doing his thing. But again, he wasn't really getting back and he's not one of those grafters, is he? We'll touch upon craft with you a little bit more because you're not, you're not happy with him. But Neither am I, to be fair. Do you want that position changed next week? Yes. Why? Why? If long staff's available, any long staff? Not in that right wing back position. Oh, oh, oh right, right, okay, yeah, one hundred percent. As I said in the previous video, I think Kraft was brought in for us to appreciate Yedin and Mankir even more. Do you think he's getting a little bit too much stick at the early doors? No. Listen, teams are coming to us and targeting him for a reason. If you watch the match highlights back, if you watch the whole game back, you can see Robertson literally dancing around him. Him, Salah, Mane, all dancing around him. Down the other side. It was pretty solid, but down that side is a problem. And there's no change that he was hauled off. Oh, that's no, no surprise, sorry. No, of course not. I mean, I think that's probably the one change I can agree with with Bruce that he had to come off. And Mankio, obviously, he's not the greatest going forward, but he brought a bit of solidarity to that to that position, to that area, and he didn't have the same joy down that area. So, it has to be for me, no brainer. First half, talk to me about it. What a start, limbs and. You try to strangle us and people jumping on the top of you and Volkagan flying in the air. Uh, what a start. What a goal. It was. We started quite brightly, to be fair. Lee. We countered really well. Shaw plays the ball and it gets headed down. And uh, I think it's Atsu that plays it out to uh, Jetro. And Jetro we, were, we were going, pass it, pass it, pass it, because we thought we were going on But he hits it and it just oh. flies in, man. What a goal. And as he says, the limbs, you getting strangled, um, several other people getting strangled, Johnny getting hit. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're talking me or you're talking no, Kyle? Kyle, like know. It. <laughs> apparently, but, apparently uh, how do you know? I mean, I don't, but uh, <laughs> we'll ask Natalie, shall we? But um, no, I, I think I've done for uh, salt. <laughs> first, first half, I thought we were really good. I just even even when we went two one down, it was through own own fault. The first through Croft being inept, and the, the first goal, it's a great goal. Mm. The finish, I think Croft's probably it's do a better. Great finish, but but the second Croft, one. The second one, we've got to be doing a lot better, Chris. And after can he be doing flicks and tricks? No. Inside his own half. Well, he was pissing about with the ball, and he shouldn't be pissing about with the ball. Any team in the Premier League, they'll punish you for that. And he does it at the home of the European champions. So it's a bit, it's a bit docile, if I'm honestly. And he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be doing things like that. I mean, bar that, he actually had, he actually had a really good half. He was stretching the Liverpool defence, bringing them out. Jet Rose getting in behind and he was playing well but he can't be making mistakes like that and that's why you're down great at two. Even though he had a good first half and a decent second half, he just you can't be making mistakes like that, mate, because it cost you in this league. So went two one down forward, you're going in the second half now. Um we're still in the game. Obviously fantastic start, equalised and they've got the momentum then with that mistake. Coming in that second half, it, apart from the Kraft chance, we're talking about Emil Kraft again, bless him. But it was all Liverpool. Um, when that cross came in, that Kroth moment, what were you thinking? Well, when he had the opportunity to score. Very similar to Norwich, wasn't it? When he came, cross came in, the cross came in. Yeah, I mean, of all the players that you wanted to drop to, probably you don't want it to drop to him. Um, and his confidence is probably shot to pieces anyway. Um, he's just got to go. Or he's just got to come in. Get over it. <laughs> well, he's got to get over it, hasn't he? Well, get over the fact that he's playing badly or get over the fact well, what, what, what are we getting over here? No, come on, we got to, listen, we've got to call people out now because we can't, we can't have the opportunity to kind of be babysitting players in the team and especially in areas like that because we're going to get punished. I know Champions of Europe, yeah, 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 but again, they're just targeting. Got to put it away. Yeah, easily. Right. The third goal, I have to say it was actually, I thought it was a brilliant goal by Liverpool as well. Yeah, they just ticky-tackered around us. Um, it was, was it Salah who did the little back heel or was it Firmino? It was Firmino. Firmino, yeah, and then just an easy finish. But do again, you think, do you think our away spot went a little? Because I thought away spot was brilliant for us, so probably dipped a little. Yeah, we went, we went flat after that. The thing is, though, in the second half, we didn't really come out all guns blazing. Like in the second half, or in, in 
yeah, in the second half, we should have come out all guns blazing. We should have kind of gone to them because otherwise we're just going to sit back too much. And I said, we was only pressing them in the final third, in the final third, that round the penalty box. And that's too, that's too dangerous. Mm. You're letting the likes of Salah and that do all that around you and that's what happened. They are world-class players, so let's kid ourselves. But see Bruce over at you. And you have to say it was probably a fair result, you know, but we have to green, a, a, a dream start. I think the difficulty for me is obviously when it goes to one each, can we get to half time then and, and regroup a little bit? Um, you know, against a very, very good side. You know, they're a, they're, a, they're a very, very good team at the moment, as good as you're going to play against. You know, there's no weakness in them at all. And when the boy Firmino comes on after half an hour, changes the whole impact because he's, he's different to Origi. Not disrespect, Origi's a good player too, but he drops into them little areas. The other two are flying off him. And, uh, but we've given a poor goal, the second one, we'll be disappointed with that. You know, we've given the ball away in the middle of the pitch and I'm sure Martin, when he looks at it, will be disappointed that he, he didn't clear the whole lot out. But uh, there you go, it no, wasn't to be. Uh, those pictures are courtesy of NUFC TV, we don't own them. Kyle, I just wanted to respond because people are going to think that oh, we're picking on Emil Croft. Are we? Or you? He, 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 I'm not picking at the lad. I know he's a new player and that, but it's time and time again he's getting targeted now. And I've seen in the uh, rating the players that Manquil, when he first signed, was better than that uh, that Emil Croft. And Manquil got loads of stick because he used to play for Sunderland and things like that. Whereas Manquil is now starting to become... It's more solid, isn't he? People are starting to prefer Manquil, and you know it's bad when people are starting to prefer Manquil to someone. Do you know what I mean? Like, Emil Croft was supposed to be the revelation, the new right-back that was going to come in, slot into that back five and make it solid, but he's just the complete opposite, mate. I hope he turns it round and I hope he um, proves us wrong, but on the basis of today, Tottenham and Norwich where he was a bit shake, uh, he's shaking all three of them he needs to prove he's, uh, he's fighting an uphill battle mate because if I was Steve Bruce now he wouldn't be playing for the next couple of weeks It seems a bit lopsided though like in terms of both sides like the left side I think we've got sorted now we've got Willems and yeah, it's a good replacement for Richie isn't it? Yeah we've got Willems and then we've got um, Atsu on that side and they work well together as a combo and then you've got on the other side Almirin does not track back in fact after the time where I'm looking for him to overlap, he's on the other side of the pitch. And then obviously Kraft, as we said before, like he doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. He's got all the gear, but no idea. So again, it just looks so lopsided. We need to sort out the right side. So again, we look solid from both sides, because otherwise it's just going to be the same thing that we're going to be repeating every single week when we do this. We didn't expect now from today, but if we bring up the league table, it's early doors. Can't really look too much into it, but the Brighton one, I'll get Kyle your thoughts in a minute as well, but that, that already, because you look at the fixtures coming forward, you're talking some big teams, Wolves as well, Leicester, Chelsea. <sighs> have we got to get a, get a result from that? Have to, have to. Even if it's a draw, ideally three points, um, we definitely need to get something from them because we can't go to big teams and play like that because we can get picked apart, whether it be Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, you name it. They're all going to look at games like this and be like, oh, OK, we go after Kraft then. Oh, he's going to be playing every single week. Cool, we'll do that then. Simple as that. That's what I would be doing. How quick do we need like a lift? I know to defeat the day, but what I'm talking about is looking at that bench and think, right, we've got him on the bench today. We can get him off the bench to do something. I'm talking maybe St. Maximum, talking maybe even Andy Carroll to some extent. It's something different that will just lift the place. We need those two back. Well, St. Maxman is very direct and he's very skillful. And if he plays against Brighton next you week, be, you, think you, be back? you can see, you could see him really running right against the Brighton defence, which is very slow. And then Andy Carroll, you've got the mix. If you put the ball into the box, more than likely he's going to win a header. So it, it, these are players I'm looking forward to seeing back in the team for, for no doubt. And I agree with Fordy and saying we definitely need something next week because if we're going to stay in this league or push for mid-table or even higher than that, we're going to have to beat teams like Brighton, mate. Uh, Sorry, can yeah. I touch one of the subs as well? Mewtwo as well. Like, again... <laughs> born offside. <laughs> born offside. And Amirin has He's to get as well. in the new uh, oh, yeah, movie and he's born offside. <laughs> <laughs> They're both doing it, though. Amirin's in the first half and then Mewtwo in the second half as well. Like, someone needs to teach these forwards how to play onside. Because what's the point? What is the point? Johnny's getting aching arms and aching back, so I'm going to disagree with him. I think we need a win next week. Let us know what you think in the comments down there below. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to say later.